today. We are here for questions for me, assumptions about me, have my fan that I need to help me more. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the first assumption is that my boobs are fake and they don't fit in my shirts. I made this one up, by the way. I'm gonna get into my phone in a second and read the true ones. By the way, <laughs> it's your girl Renee, Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram. And this shirt is brand new. I put it on and that happened. So I just wanted to make this intro and I'm gonna go change, unfortunately really love this shirt i hope my mom can fix it fingers crossed i can't sew worth a shit so uh yeah if you want to see me um in a new outfit and get into these questions that i asked you guys to ask me and some assumptions about me then uh just keep watching stay tuned so i am sweating i have to have a fan on and thing I was forgetting was I am recording on my phone and I actually need to read your guys's comments so I can quote them correctly. I don't know if people want me to, you know, say their names or anything. So I'm probably just going to at least stick to no names. I might mention the handle, but guess what we're not even gonna make this the assumptions about me video because a i still have up i just put it up a few hours ago in my story on instagram which is seattle mua renee i'll leave a link below so definitely go if whether you want to be anonymous you can dm me with your assumptions about me or questions for me, anything like that. I just feel like I'm not quite ready as in I feel like I need I need some juicy stuff you guys like I want to be embarrassed. I want I'm like asking basically for my haters to come out like come on come on come up in here go on my Instagram send me a message and let's talk about it. But first, right now, since I did use this new Pat McGrath palette, today I will have my look on my Instagram page as well, shortly. But I wanted, I know a lot of you guys, when I posted the product picture the other day when I got it in, I had a lot of you guys want to know how I like it after I used it. So guess what? This is what this video is going to be kind of like my first impressions and honest thoughts about it. Is it worth it? So I did use it today. Like I said, I'm still sweating a little, even with a fan on it is summer it has come finally. Yes, just yesterday, Seattle got the memo and, and it's summer. It's supposed to cool back down like to 65 in a few days and be cloudy, but Seattle, Seattle. So I got the new Mothership. I don't know which version this is. The, 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 you know, M, M, X, V, I, I, you know, that one, this one. this one right here obviously her palettes are amazing uh it is a black owned business so you know just keep that in mind and this is only my second pat mcgrath palette i have uh, one that has like very neutral colors and a bright blue and then now I have this one So this is the second one I have I have a few of her lipsticks and that's about it y'all like I don't have the money to buy this I had to sell some of my 
eggs, I had to, Marilyn, I had to work at a lemonade stand. I had to have, pimp out my dogs. I had to borrow some money, take out a loan, and sell my car to have this palette. I'm just kidding on some of the things. But I got this, and um, so I love the colors. I wish that there were at least just like one more matte shade, like a medium type of matte. So I love the shimmers. This color right here, my fingers look like they're really dirty, but they're not. But that color down here, this pinkish, it's like a dual chrome and it actually turns, I put it on over the gold on the outer corner of my eyelid and it turned green. And I'm sitting here thinking it's pink, but it's green, kind of, yeah. It's like a pinky green. It's so unique and beautiful. And that is definitely absolutely stunning. Here is another swatch and then let's go in. So unfortunately, uh, for me and my case, I, I do love shimmers, but I feel like it's hard to have transition shades and bake. Blah, blah, blah. Basically, you just have this shade, this deeper shade, and then this shade, which is a transition shade, at least on my skin tone. So I used both of those shades and along with this gold, this, and then I put a little of this in my inner corner. So I feel like I got to use most of the shades. This one that I used as a transition, bleh, transition, come on Renee, shade is, it has a lot of fallout and I'm not quite sure if it's even a full matte, but I think it is. But those were the only two mattes. So to be honest, just really, really honest. I need something to wipe my hands off. Let's let's just do this because why not? What else we got going on today? So obviously just straight pigment. That color is just so unique. But do I think that this palette is worth spending $125 on? No, that's my final answer. And I know that I'm gonna get use out of this palette, yet I don't even feel like it's as versatile as the other Pat McGrath palette I have. Um, hold on, let me go get it. I feel like this has a nice mix of shimmers and matte and I feel like this is just more versatile plus you have that pop of blue where if you want to just you know be some just I'm blue da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. something like that I don't know but I just feel like now that I have this and I I do love it I'm I'm just you know it's <laughs> it's a lot of money for eyeshadow. I have a Mercedes and this is like half of my car payment. So, you know, pros and cons. Um, these shades do uh, have insane intensity and you don't need to do much in order for them to blend. You kind of just, I mean, they blend themselves almost. You could probably blend them with your fingers. They are that creamy and good quality eyeshadows, but I just don't feel like anything really should cost as much as it does when it comes to Pat McGrath, when it comes to La Mer. I mean, I don't, I don't actually own anything from La Mer. I have a sample. That's what I can afford. So, um, yeah, that, that just is my first impression. I did, I did enjoy using it. 
I think that there is like this one, especially that greenish, uh, pinkish shade is really, really, really unique. And hopefully I end up using it a lot. I do plan on keeping it, even though I, at the end of the day, my decision would probably change, but yet at the same time, it's limited edition. And I was looking so forward to it and maybe I might've hyped myself up a little bit too much. And I'm also gonna be paying for it, literally, for a little bit. But, you know, I, I love her palettes. I love the eyeshadows. I just wish that, you know, it was a little bit more affordable. But at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. And um, I'm just gonna get this posted up for you guys. Just a really quick little first impression review on a spot because I just did it and it's sweating off. Not my eyeshadow. It's still perfect, but my face is sweating off. But I'm gonna get this up on the good old tube for you guys, and I would love it if you would go to my Instagram and participate, whether it be to send me a message or comment on the picture. Make sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Where I'm going like this, Comment on that picture, any questions you have for me or any assumptions about me. Um, my other idea was, you know, throughout the years I've been on Instagram, I've had my fair share of haters. So I'm gonna address some things that have been said and not give any names, of course, you guys. Like, I'm, this is in no way to shade anyone. I don't care, I don't. What Joe Schmo thinks about me at the end of the day doesn't make or break me. I just thought that this would be one of those fun videos to film. And I thought that I was a little bit nervous to even post, like put out your assumptions about me and everybody is being so kind and nice. And like, here's your time to be rude to me. Go be rude to me. And by the way, don't assume that this was anything Besides, I ran into a wall. So with all that being said, I will let you guys go. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my new videos. I am putting out videos once a week now, usually Thursday or Friday. Hit the bell so you don't miss anything. And follow me on Instagram. My Twitter is also the same. And so is Snapchat. I have freaking TikTok now too. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys and we'll talk soon.